there. So let's get started with our first Code With Me challenge activity for JavaScript. So by at this point, I've assumed that you have gone through some of our introductory JavaScript material and that you have a basic understanding of where we're going, but need to put it to practice. So this is one of the activities I like to do for my first week of class to kind of give you a push, gentle push maybe, into the world of JavaScript. So the very first code challenge we're going to do is to create an alert with a phrase about this course, such as, I love this JavaScript class. Okay, now I am in CodePen. If you don't already have a CodePen.io account set up, you'll need to do this. Um, it is free. And then you can follow along with me as the video goes on. I do not recommend just watching this. I recommend doing it and pushing the pause button and making sure that your code is doing what my code is doing. That is the best way to learn how to code is by doing it yourself and practicing. Okay, so how do we do this? So the first thing that I might do if I have a JavaScript book is I might, you know, look in the in the index for the word alert since I have that bold. Or I might go to Google and search for JavaScript alert to get some examples. But I will show you how to do this um, today. So in CodePen, like I mentioned before, we have three different sections, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, make it, making it a great tool for us to use because it's an online code editor. So you can save your work and go to a different computer and, and catch up on this. So um, an alert, very simple. This is like also known as an annoying pop-up window. As soon as I start typing alert, you'll see that the, the alert has already happened. I haven't even put anything in here yet, right? So the um, syntax for this is to write alert and then to have parentheses with what you want inside of it to uh, be alerted. So if you don't want it to be annoying and interrupt you while you're typing, you can go into the pen settings and you can click on behavior and then there is a um, enable disable the auto updating preview so because what it's trying to do is it's trying to do this as hold on that might not be the only one let's also get let's also um, uncheck the auto save okay now it shouldn't do anything okay so alert and then the parentheses and within the parentheses you're going to say let's let's do hello world okay now at the end of every javascript statement which is what we've created here you want to have a semicolon that semicolon basically al alerts the program to the end of your statement and then it knows the next line there will be another statement okay so alert hello world is just going to pop up a window that says hello world so i'm going to save it and now that i've disabled it from automatically running i'm going to click run and there is my pop-up hello world okay so the code challenge is to do this but have it say i love this javascript class so go ahead and pause the video and make that change and get test it out so that it says I love this JavaScript class okay go ahead pause I'll wait we'll come back okay so hopefully you got your code working I will go ahead and show you how to do this it's going to be this very same exact thing except you're going to uh, change the inside of our quotations so there we go I love this JavaScript class of course and I click run and here we go with our alert I love this JavaScript class now the next pat yourself on the back you did this high five let's go to the next one 